some mini days on the way, Shane. Yeah, a little bit heading our way overnight tonight and especially early tomorrow morning. For most of us, not a big deal. Less than a half inch of new accumulation, but just enough to cause a few slick spots. Not a whole lot out there on Pinpoint Doppler right now, though. Uh, just a few flurries and light snow showers showing up in the mountains and a little bit more concentrated action back off to the northwest. You can see temperatures have now fallen into the mid-20s. 27 Prestonsburg, Paintsville, 26 Pikeville, Hyman here in the Hazard. We head on over towards London, 29 there, 29. Williamsburg, Corbin, Barberville, 28 into Middlesbrough. And as we go throughout the next 24 hours, snow showers off and on will be the name of the game. The snow really should pick up in earnest here in about the next three to four hours around I-75 and eventually work its way a little bit farther off to the east. Watch out for a little bit of black ice on the morning commute too as uh, some of that rain and snow we saw earlier in the day that melted uh, may refreeze as those temperatures drop into the low 20s. There's the big blizzard rocking the east coast. Here's the snow we're going to deal with. And as you can see, it's really not impressive compared to what they're dealing with out east. But a little bit of light snow will head our way over the next few hours. Let's map it out now with future view and you can see Future of you really not excited about our snow chances overnight and tomorrow, friends, but I think we will see a little bit more than what it's showing. Off and on snow squalls linger into the mid-afternoon. I think we should clear out late in the day as temperatures head back down into the 20s and teens for Wednesday morning. We take you into Wednesday afternoon. Highs only in the 30s with sunny skies, so definitely a bit of a cool day on Wednesday. And then another storm system works in Thursday into Friday. That may bring us another round of rain to snow. But as far as additional snow tonight, you can see generally less than a half inch. Uh, maybe a little bit more up on those ridge tops. The computer model likely underdoing it just a little bit in those higher elevations along the Virginia border. Let's talk travel impacts for tomorrow, though. The morning commute, pretty much every roadway you'll be on will have at least a chance of a few slick spots. And I think the back roads could be especially treacherous and some of those haulers tomorrow morning. So uh, you notice we put the red light out on that one. Be sure to use a lot of caution as you're going to be out and about. Now we go into the afternoon. Main road should be okay. okay. Secondaries and back roads, still a few slick spots out there. And I think tomorrow evening, the uh, main roads will be mainly dry. But once again, your secondaries and your back roads We'll still have a little bit of black ice and some slick spots out there. So uh, just take it easy if you have to be out and about. Now, if you do hit one of those slick spots, well, be sure to just slow down. Don't slam the brake. And if you start to skid, don't overcorrect too fast. That's what will put you into a spin a lot of times. So just take it easy out there. Plan a few extra minutes into your commute. And the farther you have to go, the more time you need to add to that commute. Now, roads will not be horrible tomorrow. But there will be slick spots out there, especially those back roads and the secondaries. And for most of us, we're looking at most a half inch of snow. For some of us, we will not see any additional accumulation, especially over in the far end of the Big Sandy. I don't think they'll pick up much additional snow tomorrow. As we go to the seven day forecast where the weekends and always in view, rain turns to snow again Thursday, Friday. So that one should play out pretty similar to what we saw uh, last night and today. And then the more interesting storm, Sunday, Tanner. Another storm coming out of the southwest, and those can always uh, be a little bit tricky. That looks like another rain to snowmaker, but we may see a little bit more from that one. All right, Shane, appreciate you keeping an eye on it for us. Coming up next.